This section will introduce the common and more complex settings in Easy Easy A. On the editor's home page, click the gear icon or go to Settings, System, General to access the Settings page. First, under System General, there's the Symbol Library Management option. In Easy Mode, each component has its own unique schematic symbol, meaning symbols cannot be shared between components. However, in Professional Mode, symbols can be reused across different components. For example, resistors with different values like 10K or 1K share the same symbol in the schematic. In Professional Mode, you only need to draw the resistor symbol once and assign it to different resistors. Typically, we will choose Easy Mode here. The remaining settings on this page can be adjusted to your preference. In the Category section, you can classify your components for easier searching. We will cover the common library later, so we won't go into details here. Next, let's go over the schematic symbol settings. We will open a sample project to explain this. In the general section, you can switch between unit systems with inch and millimeter available. You can also click here for a quick switch. The grid type offers three options, grid dot, grid, and none. After changing the setting, restart the schematic page to apply it. You can also click here for a quick switch. When placing components, a course cursor will appear for positioning. In the settings, you can adjust the size of the course cursor or choose not to display it. By checking Always Show Course Cursor, the course cursor will always be displayed. Finally, note that at the bottom of the page, under Components Placement for Per Page, you can set the maximum number of components allowed per schematic page, which you can adjust as needed. You can leave the rest of settings at their default values. In the theme settings, you can change the colors of various interfaces. Now, let's move on to PCB footprint settings. The grid type is similar to that in the schematic settings, so we won't go into detail here. You can also switch between measurement units for PCP design, with options for mile and millimeter. The remaining settings can be adjusted according to your preference. One thing to note is that when laying out the PCB, Easy Day will automatically snap to points. For example, when connecting two pads, the wire will automatically snap to the center of the pad. If you don't need this feature in certain scenarios, you can adjust it in the snap settings. The settings in panel panel lib are similar to those in schematic and PCB, so we won't elaborate here. In the Common Font Family section, you can import fonts from your computer into Easy EDA. These fonts can be applied to the schematic nodes or PCB screen. In the Drawing section, you can create a new drawing template, which we will introduce in a future video. In the Hockey section, you can select different software shortcuts based on your preference, including Easy EDA Standard Edition and LTM Designer shortcuts. In the top toolbar, you can customize the buttons display on the top toolbar. In the Save section, you can enable the Auto Save and Auto Backup features. Auto Backup determines how often your project automatically syncs to the server. You can also press Ctrl S to sync immediately. That concludes this video. In the next video, we will introduce how to create a new project. See you next time.